Hello, and welcome to the Underhive. And thank you for rejoining me here, my fellow Underhivers, and rejoining me for more Underhive Wars. So we are still continuing with the story, which, to be fair, doesn't feel like it's the, me the real meat and bones of the situation. We're going to be getting into a new gang at some point soon, because there aren't that many more missions for the main story. Uh, as it happens, little IRL info, info for you, uh, I'm going on holiday later on today. Uh, sadly, not as soon as I'd like, because I've got to wait in for a package, which is a bit annoying. Um, but other than that, um, the later episodes, I will be back on the trusty headset mic with no green, no green screen. I will still do cam, um, but just a little heads up that it won't all be like that, only for the next uh, week, and then we're back to uh, back to normal. Uh, but this video, and possibly another one if I get the time to do that, uh, will be as uh, as this one is. Nope, we don't need that one again. The Hive Cities of Necromancer. So we are on number four, hopefully using our friend Blutvor again. And it's the Bane Cats that they're against, uh, not the Wild Cats as I kept saying. So we're going to uh, go for an old train controlled by the Havoc Engine Goliaths. So, this train goes down below. That's what the Gilder said, right? That's right. Ain't she beautiful? This goes where we need to go. But isn't down below dog soldiers tough? I, I heard they're all ruddy mercs or exiles or, or cannibals or something. Yeah, yeah. And the grand dog's so tough and all, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a grox about him or any of the other scum down there. We gotta get that prize. Oi! Where do you think you're going? On that freaking train! You got to earn that right, boy! You gotta prove you and that little runch you're fronting. Won't you stand up feeding the rats? I accept your challenge, you wizened little ripperjack! Me and my rowdy boys will show you fossils the meaning of herd! Huh! Listen to this one! That's the spirit, boy! I'll let your mama know you died well when I see her next! Follow me! Mum jokes. Oh, don't be doing that to block for the Cargo Dome Arena. So let's see what the disposition is. Oh, so it looks like there's just the two of us to begin with. What are these? Health dispensers. Very good. And of course, it has still forgotten what invert means, despite it being ticked. Well, fight are not there yet, so we've got to pick this guy. And of course, he gets no his guns, just muscle and metal. Higher Make it through all of fella. us and prove you kids are hard enough to ride on the big train. So he's trying to ambush. So he's 37 meters. And we, oh right, so he gets a melee weapon in the first and we just get the first, that. How is that fair? So, I feel like he can, he can get us from most places. I don't understand why my rivet gun is the way it is. Surely it's only 25 meters. I 
Oh, it's a rock drill. It's a rock drill. That'll be why then. We're gonna let him run into our trap, not the other way around. Grab those weapons before they do. <laughs> You've even broken a sweat. Have some more. If it's giving us all the melee boys, we're gonna go with ambushes. That's the only reason to run into the fray. But it looks like he's got a gun and I've only got a drill. Yes. His weapon does more damage. And stuns. And he gets three attacks. They're gonna go and yeah, they're gonna gang him. So Guag's dead. Machine strike. Nineteen to twenty-five, thirty to forty-two. So we can get four lots. So it's like seventy-six or two, and be wasteful and get a minimum of sixty-two. Maximum of eighty-four. That's a maximum of a hundred. I think we're going to go with just the left-hand strike. Um, But it does give them. Ah, right, but they're not a mechanical target, I don't think. So, yeah, we're gonna have to go with. Smacking the X out. With the left hand. I said I had 60. Okay, well, we'll just have to deal with that. Let there be fire! Alright, okay. So 
So that guy gets nothing. I'm gonna go with the guy with the big axe first. Had enough yet? Well, we have it. <laughs> Oh, it's the flames have got me. Well, we're going to have to... Well, he's got two swings, so we're going to go with big swing with him. That was a better one. Skill's quite good if we can get it away. I mean, Gwag's dead. Today's uh, video is brought to you by my coffee. Oh, right, he absolutely you ain't even worth my time. It. Pathetic. It's, that's proper snide, though. They get their leader first, and I just get some chump. I don't know why they're setting you up for the game by making you play fights that aren't fair. Like, that doesn't... It, like, you're not... You're not strategizing if you're already against the odds. You've just got to make the, the best play you can out of the worst situation. Which doesn't feel particularly good. Is this... Blood vault now. Yeah, it is, yeah. Water blitz. So if he goes first, we can. We've got 40 points. And we can afford to use Entrenched. We've got nothing else in the bag. Nothing there of value. So... I'm gonna use Entrenched. Gonna use I think we'll use them next turn, but this turn we're just going to... This turn we're just going to give him four hearty chops. And hopefully kill him. So knowing that it doesn't remember that you wanted to use right hand last time, so you probably want to use right hand again. Well, we've killed one each now. He'd already had his go, whereas this guy hadn't, so they effectively have an extra fire. And he gets a chains, two chainswords. What is that? Blood 
Volvo's gonna absolutely mully you, friend. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself with that, boy! Well, I'm not going after that sword. It's like definite, definite set yourself on fire territory there. So we're gonna. I'm gonna start with. Oh, oh. And he's gonna command. Blitz. And entrench on himself to get some more AP back. So uh, Blitz, in case you didn't get a chance to read it, will make it so that his strikes cost less. Now that would have been better on somebody with one-handed, but I'm not sure I could reach him. And I just thought, I'll use it on the big hefty guy, because uh, his stuff's pretty good. Uh, and we're also going to put Order Attack on that guy. Hopefully that works. Right, and now nine, so we can now get three swings at the fella. Oh, right, so it was only the first one that cost nine, but that's fine. Not engaged or in cover. Okay, that's fine. I will leave that. He's gonna go first then. And reload. Reload his swords. <laughs> Heavily wounded. Is he gonna kill Blood War? <laughs> hey, Mike. Mm. Oh yeah, he's definitely killed him. It's annoying. Oh, well, we're gonna wear this man down. And he's just got dual clovers, but we don't need that now. <laughs> but we're going to absolutely kill Cox. There we go, he's down. So they've got two left. One of them is definitely injured. My guy less so. Pull back. There's no point kneeling because they're not they're not using ranged, I don't think. So It just would have been nice to get started off with the same like level of equipment. Because I mean, I was using a heavy boulder a minute ago. It's not like I don't have weapons. Nice. He's just got... So he's getting 50 damage out of a one-handed club. It's ridiculous.
No equipment. Can't be equipped. Are you joking? Gain fifty HP. Nice. That's quite a good skill. Well, we're gonna fall two swings. Shame that he gets massive damage compared to us. Oh, not the left hand. Why the left hand? Uh, I mean, it probably weren't killing him anyway. He's still got 14 left after that, but that, uh, that's so annoying. I mean, they're things that you'll probably get used to, like, relatively quickly, but, like, I just, yeah, it's a shame they've set it out like this. I think setting up your own gang will be a bit more straightforward, because this is just, like, uphill battles one after the other. Don't you dare kill Spoogle. Oh, he's bottled it. Well, we're just gonna kill you, mate, and ambush you, Ducky Bob, so do what you want about that. I'll take care of you myself. What? They get they get another dude. Oh, we get another dude too. That's not even their leader. And he got, like, bear stuff. Yeah, we're going to use the Rexo first. Oh, so they get two goes this turn. This is just such an unfair fight. This, like, this isn't a difficulty curve. This is just what am I thinking? I will say, I really like the game, but I just think this is so poorly executed. Uh, right, we're going to start by that chopping it? that full up. We could do this all day! I don't know where Blood Ball's chiming in, he's dead. Great. I just, uh, I don't see what the point of making it this way is. Like, this isn't teaching you how to play against a fair fight. It's just like, oh, take two goes, you have to learn what the enemy's going to do. Well, like, that isn't how the game works. You don't learn what the enemy's going to do before the game. You just try and strate you know, strategy it out. But if these guys get better perks, better weapons, better stats... I have to just, I have to optimise, don't I? And that's not really... I'm going to stop moaning now. Um, I just think that's a bit of a silly way to have done it. Like, I just think you're going to lose people. Like, if you play the story, they're just going to be like, nah, it ain't worth playing if you just get beat like this. But he doesn't have anything like that.
And we're not going to be able to get two attacks with this guy neither. Oh, so now it gives us those. I don't know why it didn't, didn't just show me those to begin with. I had enough points. attacks on him now. Or, or maybe not. Oh, got a little stun there. That's nice. I didn't know we could get a stun. But that just kind of shows that previously they were just rolling a stun. It's no good giving me that. I'm engaged now. I'm never going to disengage just to run over there, set myself on fire and get that, am I? I think we'll use this guy, make sure we get first dibs. So why do they get two guys? Why do they get two attacks? I don't understand it. Obviously that guy. Do a minimum of 29 is dead. That was quite handy. That was quite handy indeed. Well, we'll just save those points. got that much AP. He's still got 10 AP. He got three attacks out of 10 AP. Four attacks. What? Like... How is that an equivalent? He's about 15 levels higher than my guys. Like, please tell me there's some sort of like, oh, right, now this is like how you get them back. So I can't charge him, which makes no sense. I can't charge him. No point having another weapon because it only uses the same situation anyway. Like the AI seems to be like, no, I'll never use. I thought that was an ammo. <gasps> what? what is that? He didn't even ambush me. Ah, oh, this game already. I'm telling you the gang situation better not be known as this. Like better not put you up against people that are like a million levels higher than you all the time. Because that is just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I mean we're dead here, but I don't know if this is a supposed to lose. I assume it's not. It's annoying that I'm on a tight schedule, really, and I don't really want to finish on a loss, so we're probably going to have to spend the next episode doing this mission again. 
Yeah. Easy, easy kill. He's got he's got about 50 AP left. Well, we got an achievement there. Hive of steps. No. Finish a battle in any game mode. All right, it's not like for winning. Well, it's a bit of a shame to to end on that loss. I don't understand what they're doing with the story mode. I really don't. Because it feels like it should be a tutorial, but then they're putting the difficulty curve so, so uphill that, like, I'm I'm really into this game. I'm definitely going to keep playing it. So if you're enjoying it, fair enough. And if you want to just see me lose my mind, then you, you're getting what you asked for. Um, but I, I just feel like if they have attracted any new customers, particularly, like, console players, I feel like they're just going to go and trade the game back in after this. They're not going to want to stick around for the gang mode. And the online mode. Um, I just, yeah, it just seems a really strange way to have done it. Like, maybe like the end chapters, but chapter five, considering the first two weren't really chapters, they were very, very tutorialized. I just think it seems strange to ramp the difficulty up that much. Like, not give you the same sort of weapons as they get. Start you barehanded so you have to use your AP on picking a weapon up and not get a hit. Like, yeah, maybe they're saying like, oh yeah, we'll hold back and, and then ambush. But my guy was already in the combat, so I can't just leave him to die or I'm disadvantaged for that. Just seems really, really strange. So we're going to have another go at that in the next episode. Maybe my strategy was just really off. But the point is, until you play an uphill fight, you don't know you're playing an uphill fight. Unless you just assume they're all really uphill. Um... And I just think it's forcing you to play it twice and that isn't that isn't any way to treat your fans. Like, at least give them a chance to win first time. Um, and, and maybe you'd argue that I did have every chance to win first time. But that champion, he, he's, he's at least twice as good as my basic dudes. And a bit better, at the very least, than my, than my leader. So, that no, just doesn't feel fair at all. But anyway... Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time in the Underhive.